Hi, it's uh, Mark Bowen here from Idols. I'm uh, in LA uh, because we've been nominated for a Grammy and the Grammys are happening. When we find out, I think I was just like going to pick up milk or something like that for my family. Call Kenny first because I knew no one would have told him yet. And I was like, I wanted to be the person to tell him. Like we've been a band for about 14 years now and only like, we kind of took off like 2017. So the, the course that it's taken in that time has been so completely unexpected that like, it's not that nothing phases you, but like, you're just like, guess that's another like batshit thing that's happened to us. Ah, it's, it's tough. I don't think you can get it from a song. I think in order to like get it, you have to come to our live show because I think that like sometimes people can misconstrue it either from the way that it sounds because it is very aggressive sounding and very like a blunt instrument behind it a lot of the time, um, and then even the way that we look can be quite like aggressive or whatever I guess and manly and macho, but it's not that. And like the live show I think is where it really is because it's a, it's about this embrace of love and it is about this like loss of inhibition and to be able to just let yourself go and be happy with who you are and who you want to be. Let everyone else do that. And I think that's where you get it in the live show. All right, writing as a band is, is one of the most difficult things. If, if, if anyone is looking to become a music writer, I would strongly, strongly advise that you do not join a band, okay? If you're looking to like efficiently write music, that is not the way to go. If you're looking for like, you know, camaraderie and like the joy of being in a band, like there is nothing better. There's nothing better than being in a band and you get tight on something and you know, tour and that, that bit's it. There's nothing better. Producer, especially for a band like Idols, because we essentially self-produce. A producer is just someone that needs to have that understanding of translating creative ideas across, translating what the band are attempting to do when we're together and writing the band into what we are intending to do on a record. You know, with someone like Kenny, it's about how excited about the album they make us feel. And that's really, it's all about excitement. It's like, we want to write exciting songs. So if someone's making us feel excited, then that energy is going to transfer itself across the record. So that's what we need. We need someone who's going to get us exciting, excited by the album. You've got ideas, you're already set. The other 95% is literally just it. Because you'll know right away whether it's terrible or good. Like, you'll be able to tell. Never put anything out that you don't think is your best stuff. And as long as you stick to that, if you do it, you've done it. And then the rest of it follow, follows up. And then you've got to ask yourself, what does success mean? What are your intentions behind doing it? If you're in like a weird kind of quirky guitar band, like my band, who are exciting to see live, then the Success for us is writing weird kind of quirky guitar, heavy rock violent music that more than four people want to turn up to see on their night out. And that's it, you know? I get to make an album, that's success to me. Like, my privilege of that, I'm in a very successful rock band because I you know, things like Meg and Cello, Glass and Free, I'm album nominated for albums. And that is success in making. Ever. But all of that secondary to the fact that the success was made when we made a, an album that we loved and we shared it with people. That's the success of it. And then people latch on to the success of that. They, say, they latch on to the joy that's in that. They latch on to the fact that you're part of it and, you know, putting it out there. And that's, that's the big thing. It was a long rambling train of thought thing. Much like this is right now. For me, Marco and from Idols. Uh, we're going to go to the Grammys now. I'm going to get suited and booted. Um, and we're going to have a lovely time. And uh, you can listen to our music wherever music is. Or don't. The Beach Boys are good.